Hello, my name is Aries, and I'm going to talk about map properties, layering, and coding commands. Map properties. You can change the name of the properties, tile setup, the width, the height, and the background music. The troops, about what type of troops will show up, about average set of 30 right now. Or you can make it none so there's no it's peaceful. Um, let's go with a tile set of a tower and let's name it tower. See as the tile set has changed over here. What you're able to do layering. Layering one is the pretty much all the background background of each map. You will have like holes, dry grass, dirt, like a grass road. Layer 2 allows you to put through that grass like a tree or something on top that you would want like a pillar, maybe that step three allows you able to have stuff over or behind it such as if you wanted that pillar right there showing be, uh, behind that tree you're able to or maybe you want another pillar behind that tree you're able to or if you want to do you might wanted a tree over top a tree such as that coding commands this is the start menu of your guy this is the guy you're able to code command you're able to have it so as a character or just be plain or nothing you're able to make it activated by switch variables how it moves is right here or how it's activated let's go with show text hi my name is Aries oh press ok hi my name is Aries change the guy to that also able to show choices yes or no and then show the text within that choice yes yes also could input number as such a how many digits you want this variable to be like I'm going to do a three digit variable so just like in money case if you wanted to exchange a certain amount of money of gold you're able to like see maybe I have 420 gold I wanted to give to this lady I was just able to Or you could do change text options and put it in the middle. Or the top. For instance. high in the middle, high at the top. If you didn't like it at the bottom. But the input process really just depends on variables. Weight allows you to weight a certain amount of frames, like 20 frames, 
and 20 frames where I can't do anything at all so I can't move I'm trying to move I can't move until 20 frames is over uh, 21 frames sorry comment allows you to comment in the list of commands letting it be more organized so you know what's going on or you remember better um, condition breach allows you to turn variables on and off say variable let's say we make variable three on and this guy variable th uh, three I believe Zero. make this guy show up so let's make it so variable switch three sorry switch three Variable one. So this guy won't show up until switch three is activated. See, he isn't there at all. But then when now I talk to him, talk to her. Oh. Condition. Variable. It allows it so if that one is on, this will happen. So if this variable isn't on, it wasn't on. It didn't turn it on. Like if I wanted that guy to show up, I would need to control switch, make switch three on. So now, for instance, I talk to him. He shows up. You're able to do a loop, so you'll have a choice such as yes and no. No will be the one that will break the loop, and yes, you yes will keep repeating itself. So, for instance, you talk to her. You keep saying yes, you're not going to get anywhere. You could keep doing this forever. Once you press no, it breaks the loop. Sorry, computer's slow. So once you break the loop, you're good. Then you could exit event processing. So any of these events, you can exit. You can erase the event, or you could call a common event, which you can create. Labels allow you to create a label in the event and able to jump to that label it's good for I haven't really able to use it yet but I assume it's good for if you have a very complex code and it needs to jump to a yes or no question if something happened you're able to jump to it control switches allow you to turn it on and off uh, control timer allows you to control how long you have till this operation can happen uh, change gold allows you to change increase the gold or decrease the gold um, you're able to change items you own change the weapon you own, change the armor you own and change the party member you are so like serious control talk to her oh, I'm already the same guy but you're able to change your character on whoever you want to be you're able to change the window screen as in like your money 